Welcome to the video from JustLifestyle.com. New Windows 10 to build to look at. This is 19008 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. Running here on my Surface Laptop 2 in a VM. I've also installed it on my Surface Go, no issues with that. And uh, the shutdown issue is fixed from the previous update as well, so no issues rebooting it. There's really not too much in this build. Um, to talk about uh, I do like documenting these build changes but there's not a huge amount to see they fixed the issues in the settings header where it was showing that an update was pending like that um, and said so they fixed that now there probably is an update in progress because it's doing a check for updates uh, let's go and have a look so everything is okay on there so let's go back now and there you go it's it's fine so uh, it was showing a, a sometimes it was showing that an update was pending uh, they were fixed an issue with settings not returning after being minimized and that looks fine they fixed the issue with the speed of task jump lists on there on there so I've just right click jump lists yeah it seems fairly normal I did experience any issues like that so I'm not quite sure um, they fixed an issue with the program compatibility system popping up. I haven't seen that. Windows Hello Mac. They fixed an issue with Windows Hello where it couldn't turn the camera on. I've used Windows Hello on my Surface Go with uh, this build. No issues with that. Uh, they've cleaned up some UI in the mouse pointer and ease of access and narrator. They fixed an issue with narrator and Chrome. There are still some known issues with this build. BattleEye and Microsoft have found issues with uh, the preview builds and the BattleEye anti-cheat software so um, don't install that this build if you've got that uh, I think they're going to put a hold on builds if you've got that in software installed uh, resetting the PC from the cloud isn't working in this build uh, when started from the Windows recovery environment I actually did a separate video showing how that works but I, didn't, I did it from here rather than from the recovery environment um, so they've still seen that. Uh, settings isn't always launch, launching for some people. The uh, hardware keyboard in dark mode is un unreadable in certain areas in predictive text candidates. Um, so when it's doing this predictive text, some of the text isn't readable. Bluetooth m devices may not reconnect ex expectedly after closing the lid on the device or certain devices, so they're working on that. You after you open your device up you can turn bluetooth on or off on and off and it'll bring it back um, they've had some issues asking for the build to be reinstalled um, so where you see that you've got a new build to install despite you already having it uh, obviously not the case on here this will look fine but that's still an ongoing issue and some optional drives in the windows update Maybe showing um, optional drivers in the Windows update, maybe showing older drivers. Let's have a quick look. So I can't check that because there isn't anything to show, but if there was, it would be on here. So obviously I've not got that bug. So if you do see older drivers being installed, then that's that's why. So that's all the changes with this build um, 19008 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. I think this is pretty much done, this 20H1. It's not due till the first half of next year, or for, yeah, first half of next year, but I think feature wise it's done. They're just going through the bug fixes now. Uh, you can see more on our YouTube channel on digitalastyle.com and on my Twitter at iStixon.